So, you know, you're embarking on a time where there's going to be so much more freedom. You're going to have choices. And a lot of those choices, hopefully, are going to be on target, but some of them are going to be a miss, right? That's okay. Congratulations, you're cute. All right? But what we're trying to do is make sure you correct those mistakes in your 20s rather than in your 50s. All right? We see it in the bank every day. We see people coming in out of options. Okay. You know what I mean? So what we're doing today is helping you build a foundation. We're going to gamify it. We're going to make it fun. You're going to feel some of the decisions. You're going to see your money all of a sudden jump out of your savings account when you get a new apartment and you're going to realize, oh man, security deposit. I didn't see that. Right? You're going to start to take it personally. Those are all good things. All right? This is a very good foundation. You're going to be a little bit overwhelmed. I guarantee at least half of you say to yourself, oh my God, how do my parents do this? All right? So what I would ask you to do is to pick out two or three things that really make sense to you. Two or three things that really resonate and start working on those. I am Ms. Shan and I work in the athletic department at Silver Lake. Yep. And what's the Credit for Life Fair? Ooh, the Credit for Life Fair is a financial literacy event where kids play the roles of 25 year olds. Um, they have a profession and they basically just go booth to booth making financial decisions. Uh, as you can see behind us, all of the booths, they range from transportation, housing, planning for the future, uh, all sorts of things. And they just go booth to booth making those financial decisions and then hoping that they stay balanced and then they check in with the credit counselor at the end and they basically just have some great dialogue about why they chose to put things where, whether it was credit, debit, or their savings. Um, and really it's just a, a great uh, learning experience for them. There's no right or wrong to this. It's literally just life. And you think it's beneficial for kids? A hundred percent. You know, you don't have to be going to Harvard to do this. It's This is for anybody. You know, everybody has to have a budget. Everybody's going to be making money. Everybody's, you know, going to be trying to live within their means. And that's exactly what this is for. Perfect. Hello. Hi. What's your name? I'm Lily. <laughs> and what's your job? I'm a nurse practitioner. And how do you think students benefit from the Credit for Life Fair? We're learning how to budget and spend money. It'll help us later in life. And what type of tables do they have at the fair? I've seen the housing and charity, and clothing, and lifestyle. What's your name and profession? Um, my name's Zoe, and I'm a first year psychologist. And you think this fair is helpful for kids? Um, I do. I think that it's really cool that we can learn about like all different aspects of like things you're, we're gonna have to like experience in life. And yeah, it's good. So did you get the job you wanted? I did. Yeah. Perfect. So you like know about the future now? Yeah. I, my name is Danielle Shaves, and I'm a lawyer. And is this a, is this fair beneficial for students? I think it is because like you get to know what things are in real life and how much they cost. And is life expensive? Yes. <laughs> What's the most expensive thing you found so far? Probably housing or buying a car. So things you can't avoid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My name is Drew Burns, and I'm a physical trainer. My name is Luke Doyle, and I'm a PE teacher. And these are the jobs you wanted? Yes. Yes. Are you getting paid less than expected? No, I think my salary is quite good. It's around the same that I expected. And you think the fair is helpful for students? Uh, spend your money wisely. I think it is very helpful. I'm Sakura, and I'm a civil engineer. Um, is life more expensive than you thought it was going to be? Yes, but I expected it because, you know, life's expensive. And what's the most expensive thing so far? Renting an apartment and adopting a dog. And is this a good thing for you to learn? Yes, I'm glad that we're doing this and it's actually really helpful. Cameron Dejeuner and I'm a psychologist. And what have you learned from the fair? I've learned that you run out of money pretty quickly. And what's the best part of the fair so far? Oh, probably talking to people from the community. All of the volunteers here today, I think they just listed five or six community banks, right? Banks are competitive. We compete with each other, right? But not today. When it comes to financial education, on a Friday, they drop everything and say, where do you need? Six different banks working together 
to try to make sure you know, because out of all of the things that we are invited to, this is the one that is obvious. We know that we can help. We know that how much this matters. We hope that you don't make some of the same mistakes that we did, that you learn from some of those and get a little bit better, okay? That's what this is about today. This is not a fix-all, but learning how to budget is an indispensable first step. Uh, my name's Emma and I'm a nurse practitioner. My name's Addison and sports management. And you guys went to a workshop, correct? Yes. yes. And what was your workshop? My workshop was college. And what did you do in there? Uh, we had someone who graduated from Clemson University come in and talk to us about college life. Got it. And you did? I did um, investing. And it was a Silver Lake teacher, Mr. McMahon. And we like got to see real stories of people who like invested and like got good things out of it. Samantha Kelly. I'm Megan the Liberty. I'm a fashion designer. And I'm an RM. And those are the jobs you guys wanted? Yes. Yeah. So you think this fair is helpful then? Very yes, helpful. Very helpful. And then how did you guys find what jobs you got? Um, career, career cruising. cruising. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys like the fair though? Yes, yes. we love it. We're and having what, so much fun. What workshops did you guys do? Um, health and wellness. No. <laughs> workshops. Those are tables. <laughs> so, mm. um, I did insurance and um, mortgage. I did investing in insurance. And did you learn anything new? Uh, or do you have an investment? Yeah, in yeah. I take economics. Yeah. So I just took it because I love this today. So too. So I think it's definitely getting these kids' wheels turning, and hopefully they will be staying in their budgets when they're older. This is to figure out financial advice and like know what you're doing for the future and kind of plan for it. Okay. Looking at all the new possibilities that I can have. Okay. Um, learning how to budget my money in. Cool. I like the credit card. Cool. My favorite part of Credit for Life? Talk to all the people. I get to learn about what I'm going to do in my future and I get to balance it all out. Cool. The prizes! Okay. <laughs> uh, getting to be with my friends today is pretty fun. It's all the people and um, probably all the people. And, uh, you know, just going up to all the people and just talking to them and taking that thing to like living like a fake life. It's pretty cool. Um, uh, <laughs> I think I get part. A Chick-fil-A gift card. Cool. Have a good time, guys. Good See you later. But the number one thing, and I would ask any of you to start with, it would just be aware of what's going on with your money. All right? And if you keep that habit the rest of your life, you're already okay.